one needs to think about atrial fibrillation as a progressive rhythm problem, almost like the way a blocked heart artery is a progressive problem. Heart disease is a progressive problem. We all know this. If you had a 10% blocked heart artery, and we told you that your heart artery needs to be blocked 75% or more to cause chest pain damage or heart attacks, and you're only at 10%, we say, okay, fine, I feel great, it's no problem, just watch it, hopefully it doesn't get worse. But if five years later, we say, you know, we found out that your blocked heart artery is 50% blocked, are you gonna get upset and say, that's gotta be a lie? No, it was 10% three to five years ago, it has to be 10%? No, because you understand, we all understand, that heart disease is a progressive problem. Then you would say, okay, well, I'm getting older, but I've gotta watch my diet, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, all those various things, those factors that cause it to accelerate, you want to deal with those. You want to try to slow down the progression. Same kind of thing with atrial fibrillation. Aging is the primary factor, but there are things that can cause your atrial fibrillation to form quicker and to progress faster than just getting older.